Hi, in this video we're going to go over connecting your 7510 indicator to your SL910 scoreboard. This scoreboard in particular is an indoor only scoreboard. This one you see here is a 3 inch. They do come in uh, three different sizes, a 3 inch, a 5 inch, and an 8 inch. Again, indoor only SL-910-3. So first you, what you want to do is get your cable this is a 50 foot rs232 cable it connects to the side of the scoreboard here you're just going to go ahead and match up and put it in there and then you have your basic 9 uh, 110 outlet plug here which goes into the side so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your rs232 in the back of your indicator which is right here and you're just going to plug it in like so and then you're going to want to plug in your power cable into power. So once you have that going, it will do its countdown and startup. And then we'll go over how to change the settings in order to get it to work for you. Um, usually when we send these out as a package, they are preset. Um, but if you happen to buy it separately, you know how to change the settings and get it working. So first you're going to want to turn on your indicator. After that, you're going to want to get into the settings. There's two settings we have to change. It's going to be C18 and C19. So to get into the settings, you're going to want to press hold and print together. And then you're going to use the buttons corresponding to each symbol here. So to go left, you're going to push unit. To go up and down, you're going to use Terran zero. So you're going to use these buttons to change the number on the screen. So here we're going to go up to one to get that and then go back here and change this to C18. So once you have C18 on the screen, you're gonna press print. And here it's set to three. We're gonna to wanna to change this to one. Okay, C18 is gonna be one. And then once you have that set, you're gonna press print. C19, we're gonna change as well. You're gonna press print here. And you're gonna to wanna to change this to zero. So once that's set to zero, we're gonna press print here. So C18-1, C19-0. Once you have both of those set, you're gonna to wanna to press ACCUM here to save, exit, and get back to weighing mode. So you're gonna press it once, and it should instantly start communicating with your indicator, with your scoreboard. So you can add weight. It'll show positive weight and negative weight. Negative weight, positive weight, and then if you do change the units, the number on the screen will change as well. So it's going to be completely mirroring whatever is on your indicator here. So now you are all set up to use your scoreboard. If you do have any questions or need assistance in setting this up or if you're looking to purchase, give us a call or check out our website, celatonscales.com. Thank you.